Imagine your body as a busy little city that never sleeps. Every engine running, every streetlight burning, because you keep feeding it from sunrise to midnight. Now imagine what happens when 70% of Americans eat for more than 14 hours a day, leaving that city overheated, overstressed, and way behind on repairs. When you fast for just 24 hours, it's like hitting the emergency switch. The power grid recalibrates, the maintenance crew finally shows up, and your liver starts acting like a night shift janitor who just found the cleaning supplies. Your fat cells open their vaults, your hormones stop panicking, and your metabolism stops acting like a tired intern running on vending machine snacks. But here's the scary part. If you never give your system that break, the city slowly burns out, one malfunction at a time. So what really happens to your body hour by hour during a 24-hour fast? When you eat all day, your body slowly absorbs the damage in silence. Tiny shifts in insulin, inflammation, and oxidative stress accumulating like dust in a machine no one ever turns off. Over time, that constant always-on mode disrupts your cortisol rhythm, stalls cellular repair, and leaves your metabolism humming like an overheated engine. You feel it as bloating, midday crashes, irritability, and that strange heaviness you can't explain. But a 24-hour fast gives your system the reset it's been begging for. And the first few hours might surprise you more than you think, because that's when the real changes begin. Hour zero to four, the quiet switch begins. The first hours of a fast look calm on the outside, but inside your body is rearranging furniture like a frantic housekeeper who just learned the guests are coming early. The moment you stop eating, digestion slows, insulin begins to fall, and your metabolism shifts away from incoming fuel toward use what we already have. Think of insulin as a strict security guard who tells your fat cells nobody leaves. When you stop eating, that guard finally clocks out. Research from cell metabolism shows that even the initial drop in insulin is enough to start nudging your system toward fat release. But you don't feel this part yet. Most people simply feel the habit of eating. Not hunger, but the twitchy urge to open the fridge just to check. What you gain in this window is subtle but powerful. Blood sugar steadiness, reduced cravings, and a psychological reset. As if your body is whispering, hey... Maybe we don't need to snack every two hours. It's the beginning of metabolic flexibility, the body's ability to switch fuels like a hybrid car instead of stalling out like an old pickup. Hour four to eight. Glycogen burns, hormones shift, hunger gets dramatic. Here's where your body starts spending its savings account. Your liver breaks down glycogen, the easy excess sugar you've stored from your last meals, and sends it into the bloodstream. Imagine your liver opening a just-in-case drawer and finding three granola bars and a handful of stale crackers. It uses what it finds, then shrugs and says, okay, now what? Harvard researchers refer to this as glycogenolysis, but really it's just your body realizing the snack delivery truck isn't coming. This is also when your first hunger spike appears, and let's be honest, it feels theatrical. Your stomach groans like it's auditioning for a movie role titled Person Who Hasn't Eaten in 40 Days, but science says otherwise. A study in the American Journal of Physiology shows hunger rises in waves tied to routine, not actual energy need. If you always eat lunch at noon, your body expects lunch at noon, even if you have enough energy stored to climb a mountain. Once the wave passes, most people report surprising calm, almost like a switch flips. Short-term benefit, fewer energy crashes, sharper mood. Long-term benefit, reduced insulin spikes, less fat storage, and a calmer relationship with hunger itself. Hour 8 to 12, fat mobilization begins, your brain reorganizes, and the shift starts. Now the fast gets interesting. Your glycogen tanks are running low, and your body finally looks at your fat cells and says, fine, bring out the emergency supplies. Your fat cells, those long-term storage lockers filled with stubborn energy you never use, start opening their doors. Think of it as storage units full of old furniture you forgot you owned. Studies from the Journal of Clinical Investigation show that around the 10-12 hour mark, your body ramps up the release of fatty acids into the bloodstream. These fatty acids are transported to the liver and prepared to be turned into ketones, a clean-burning fuel your brain loves even more than glucose. 
This is why many fasters report a strange combination of sensations, mild fogginess, slight warmth, and then a sudden click of clarity. It's not magic, it's your brain adjusting to a new fuel system. Meanwhile, hormones shift behind the scenes. Ghrelin, the hunger hormone, starts to regulate itself. Adrenaline increases slightly, giving you more alertness. Your body also reduces inflammatory signals, sparing energy for more important tasks. Real-life fasters often describe this stage as weirdly peaceful, not because they're suddenly superhuman, but because digestion isn't constantly draining energy. Without food to process, your body quiets down. Short-term benefit, cleaner energy, fewer cravings, and the first taste of mental clarity. Long-term benefit, enhanced metabolic flexibility, reduced chronic inflammation, and increased fat access, meaning your body gets better at using the energy you already carry. Hour 12 to 16, the metabolic reset gains momentum. At the 12-hour mark, your body finally admits you weren't joking. This isn't a late lunch, it's a real fast. And with that realization, your metabolism steps into a deeper gear. If the first 12 hours are like your body tidying the living room, the next stage is when it opens the closet and says, Oh, wow, we've been avoiding this for years. By now, insulin is low, glycogen is nearly gone, and your cells activate AMPK, the master regulator of energy. MK is like a stern but fair supervisor who walks into a chaotic workplace, turns off unnecessary machines, and forces everyone to become more efficient. It tells your body to stop storing and start repairing. Research from the Journal of Endocrinology and Metabolism shows that AMPK activation improves glucose sensitivity, reduces fat buildup in the liver, and enhances mitochondrial efficiency. Translation, your cells burn cleaner like switching from old diesel fumes to a Tesla engine. Many people notice a strange sense of lightness during this period. Not weight loss lightness, but the feeling of carrying less internal noise. With digestion resting, cortisol stabilizing, and blood sugar steady, the body produces energy more smoothly. Your stomach isn't demanding attention, your brain isn't chasing snacks, and your energy feels even. Short-term benefit, enhanced mood, improved focus, and a calmer mind. Long-term benefit, lower inflammation, improved heart health, and stronger metabolic flexibility, like teaching your body multiple ways to power itself. Hour 16 to 20, autophagy activates. Your cells start spring cleaning. This is the phase that made fasting famous. Around hour 16, the body flips the switch on autophagy, the Nobel Prize winning process that acts like your cells' personal trash collection service. And trust me, there's a lot of trash. Autophagy identifies broken cell parts, misfolded proteins, damaged mitochondria, and biochemical garbage that builds up when you constantly eat. It then recycles these dysfunctional components into usable materials, like Mother Nature saying, reduce, reuse, recycle, or else. A major 2016 study from Nobel laureate Yoshinori Osumi demonstrated that fasting dramatically increases autophagic activity. More recent research from the Journal of Cell Biology shows that autophagy protects against neurodegenerative diseases, reduces inflammation, boosts immunity, and slows cellular aging. Real people often describe this hour as oddly peaceful or even slightly euphoric. That's because ketone production is increasing and ketones have neuroprotective anti-inflammatory effects. It's like your brain goes from using cheap gas to premium fuel and suddenly everything feels smoother. You might feel a gentle wave of hunger again, but this time it's not dramatic. It's more like your stomach tapping you on the shoulder and asking, Hey, still nothing? And once you ignore it, the sensation disappears. Short-term benefit, cellular cleanup, reduced inflammation, steadier energy. Long-term benefit, protection against Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, metabolic syndrome, and accelerated aging. Hour 20 to 24, deep repair, peak ketosis, and unexpected clarity. Now we enter the final stretch, the deep cleaning stage of a 24-hour fast. 
By this point, your body is almost fully running on ketones, a clean, efficient fuel that your brain genuinely loves. Yes, your brain has preferences, and apparently it prefers ketones the way a kid prefers pizza over broccoli. A study from Yale School of Medicine shows that ketones reduce oxidative stress in the brain and improve neuronal stability, meaning your brain cells fire more efficiently. That's why so many people report heightened clarity, focus, and a sharp tunnel vision feeling during these hours. This isn't placebo, it's neurochemistry. Ketones activate BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, a protein researchers call miracle grow for your brain. It helps neurons grow, connect, and repair. Meanwhile, autophagy is still working hard. Damaged cells are being broken down. Immune cells are being rebooted. Inflammation continues to drop. A study published in Cell Reports showed that prolonged fasting reboots the immune system by eliminating old immune cells and stimulating the production of new ones. It's basically your body firing the lazy employees and hiring fresh ones. This is also when adrenaline and norepinephrine slightly increase, giving you alertness without the jitteriness of caffeine. Many people expect to feel tired at hour 22 or 23, but instead feel oddly powerful, like, wait, why do I feel good? This should be illegal. Emotionally, this stage often brings a sense of accomplishment. You've gone nearly 24 hours without eating, not by starving yourself, but by learning that hunger is temporary, rhythmic, and entirely survivable. That realization alone is life-changing. Short-term benefit, heightened focus, boosted confidence, and smooth energy. Long-term benefit, better appetite control, improved metabolic health, renewed immune function, and deeper cellular repair. After just 24 hours, your body has lowered insulin, cleared inflammation, recycled damaged cells, and tapped into energy you've been carrying for years. These changes aren't abstract. They're happening inside you right now, every time you give your system a break. Imagine waking up tomorrow with a calmer gut, a clearer mind, and a metabolism that finally feels like it's working with you, not against you. That's the real power of fasting. You don't need perfection. You just need one day to prove what your body is capable of. Try a gentle version first, maybe 12 or 16 hours, and notice how quickly small wins appear. And if you've already tried fasting, share your experience below because someone else might need your story today. Drop a comment, hit like, or ask a question. I'm here to help you figure this out. And if you want more science-backed guidance, make sure you subscribe. Your next breakthrough may only be one habit away.